product is amazing. It retails for $54. Look at those little flexes of gorgeousness. And on the other side, we have our dupe. This retails for $10 roots. So literally no gold flexes. I'm sure this is just water. Oh my God, it's actually kind of burning. Am I getting red? Oh my God, why is this stinging? Hello there and welcome to Beauty Busters. <laughs> where we test out internet beauty and products to see if they're a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby, meaning they may work for some people and they may not work for other people. Today is so exciting because we are doing a full face of street makeup, fake makeup. I literally filmed this video exactly one year ago where I tested out really ratchet street makeup. Oh, and since I figured there's a lot of new beauty products on the market, I thought it would be a perfect time to bring it back. So this makeup is found in Los Angeles, California, specifically Santee Alley. So Santee Alley is pretty much a street full of sellers and really awesome people who are selling you either some real cheap stuff or some real fake stuff. Now, if you're gonna go to Santee Alley, I highly recommend you to take some cash because there's a lot of negotiation involved when getting this makeup. For instance, I was asking for the James Charles palette. The lady said she had it. She went all the way in the back. Then she brought it back to me. She was like $20. And I was like $20, okay. And then I looked at it and I was like, the packaging does not look like a James Charles palette. Clearly make a reaction face like, that doesn't look like the real one. The seller sees my reaction. They say, what about $18? And I say, what about fifteen dollars? Then they say, "What about sixteen? So that is how negotiations go down at Santee Alley. Just be prepared to negotiate because some people could rip you off. Pretty sketch. It's kind of fun, actually. So today we are doing a first impressions of Morphe products, James Charles palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Becca Cosmetics, Too Faced, and so much more to see if you can get a steal for your money. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say there is a warning. These products are manufactured in places that have no restrictions, have no rules, meaning there's a risk for you to have bacteria in your makeup. So just know that I'm risking my face for you guys today. Okay, so thumbs up because I'm putting my face on blast right now, just for you guys. All right. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of excited about this. Before we jump into this video, I just wanted to give you guys a little surprise. I'm doing a giveaway every day, this month, every upload. Does that make sense? So it is time for me to say thank you for everything that you have done. And because of that, I'm gonna be giving you guys a huge basket of my favorite makeup products, Natalie's Outlet approved. A Natalie's Outlet hoodie so you can stay fresh and looking cute at school and comfy, of course. And I'm also gonna be giving you guys a MacBook Air. Oh my God, this is so amazing, so cute. To enter, you must be following me on all my social media sites. Click that big red subscribe button down below. Below, you guys, we are almost 8 million Audis. That is crazy. Also click that little bell icon so you never miss an upload. Also make sure you're following me on all my social media outlets or just Natalie's outlet on Instagram and on Twitter. It gives you a huge thumbs up to show your love and support for me risking my face. And last but not least, leave any comment down below. All right, you guys, you ready to start this? Let's get to it. For the very first product, we're gonna be trying out the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. You guys, I'm such a huge fan of Farah and her husband, Sal, and this product is amazing. It retails for $54, kind of pricey, but honestly worth it for the skin. Like, you see this? It's because of this, okay? And on the other side, we have our dupe. It honestly looks literally the same. This retails for $10 roots. So let me know if you see any difference. Oh, the real one's actually a little bit bigger. This packaging right here has like those nice little gold flexes. This one, this is great. Green. First, I'm gonna put on the real one. Look at those little flexes of gorgeousness. Oh my God, it smells so good. Apply it right next to that pimple. It's probably gonna get oilier now. I personally just like this because my skin is super dry. I like to have a nice little oily base to work with. Not done with our real one. I'm actually hella nervous for this one. I am very high maintenance when it comes to my skincare and this is gonna freak me out. Ideas need help. Oh my God, this looks yellow. Hell, literally no gold flexes. I'm sure this is just water. This is yellow. Can you see? This is not yellow. Oh, actually no it is. Okay, it is yellow, but little gold flexes just makes it look very pretty. Okay, let's smell it. This smells like water with a little bit of acetone. I know that, I don't know why. I feel like it's frying off. Okay, why am I so scared? Oh my God, it's actually kind of burning. Oh my God! Wait, am I getting red? Do you guys see that? Or is it just me? Okay, I'm not gonna apply any more of this. So this was 10 bucks. When I heard her say that, I was like, oh yeah. Itchy. <laughs> oh my God. Should I go wash this off? Am I getting red? Okay, I need to go wash this off. What the, f oh my God. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. Okay, I mean, I got a pimple here, but I'm okay. What is this? I literally look like I have a crown rash on my face right now. I feel like I should stop this video. 
Okay, so the very next thing that I have here is actually a foundation. This retails for $8.99 and they sold it for me for $8. So maybe it's the real one. When I was unpacking everything, I might've switched these around. I'm not even sure which one is the real one. They're both glass. They're both in the color light tan, but I have a feeling that this one is like the real thing. Somebody help me. Oh, wait a second. This font is a little lighter. I don't wear foundation anymore, you guys. I don't really want to anymore. I hate removing foundation. Every single time I hug Dennis, I get it on his shirt. I don't know if this is the real one or the fake one, but this one stinks. Okay, I'm gonna test out the other one because maybe, just maybe, I will figure it out with the scent. Let's see. Ooh, they do have very different textures. Do you see that? This one's much more liquidy, which makes me feel like that's the fake one. They both smell the same. They both stink. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one as if this is the real one. This one doesn't smell like that anymore, actually. This one is the real one, watch. Watch me have an allergic reaction. Oh my God. Me applying a full face. It's a little light. This one was not bad, actually. Now I'm gonna go with the stinky one. Oh my God. A little hole just popped through on this one, which I'm guessing is a fake one. I've never seen that in a foundation. And if I touch it, what the heck? What's going on here? Oh my God, I'm gonna ruin my face. I'm nervous. My skin is on fire. It's not even the foundation. It just feels like I'm reapplying that same oil. At least I'm covering it up. This one actually covered up very nicely though. I don't know which one is the real one, which is the fake one. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Is it a whoop? Is it a poop? Is it a maybe baby? They're both very different though, but they both look okay. One just burns a lot. So now we're gonna be going into concealer. This one is the MAC Mineralized Concealer. This is the real one. This one retails for $24. That's what it looks like. When this is a very interesting brush. Like I said, I don't really do the whole face thing. I just let my face be, but I'm just gonna add a little bit like that. That's a lot actually. It's gonna blend it, blend it, blend it. I hate covering up my little beauty mark. It actually also smelled really chemically. Now we're gonna go, oh honey. They didn't even have to cover this. Okay, this is the MAC fake one. What the heck is going on here? There is like dust up in here. This one is totally a different texture. Do you guys see that? This is a real one, this is a fake one. Colors are the same name, but they're not the same color. This one retailed for $12, so half the price. Ew! I don't like this stuff. I'm scared. I'm gonna have an allergic reaction here. This whole side is just like literally on fire. All right, so that's that. It actually does not look really bad. I'm looking pretty, pretty even. Okay, oh, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Is it a poop? Is it a whoop? Is it a maybe baby so far? Which side do you like better? All right, next we are gonna go in for the brows. Right here we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color dark brown. And this is the real one. This is the fake one. They look pretty similar. The real one retailed for $23. The fake one retailed for $5. So that is quite a difference. All right, let's open this up. Oh, honey, no, 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 no. This is the real one, you guys. You see how it's nice and gold? This is the fake one. This is like a poopy purple. You kidding me right now? I'm gonna go in with this. All right, nice and smooth. All Anastasia products are just heavenly. Queens of eyebrows. And I'm guessing this is like a little spooly. All right, you guys, and now for the fake brow. Let's see what we got going on in here. I mean, it looks relatively the same. Relatively, other than the color. Spoolie looks kind of cheap. Oh my God, oh my God, this smells like Crayola. Let's see what color we have up in here. Not impressed. Just wanna show you guys something real quick. This is a real side, this is a fake side. Do you see how that is just like creasing? I feel so pretty right now. I literally have just aged. 50 years. It applies like a crayon. So waxy. So there, I tried my best. I tried my hardest. Wow, this is bad. That is what we got up in here. Mm -hmm. This, I am so excited. We got the real James Charles palette. Here we go. It's beautiful. This retailed for $39. But we got a little sister sale up in here. She gave me this for $16. We started at $20. This is the fake one. You guys, look at this. James, what happened to your color here? Look at the hair. I am sorry, baby. The palette is smaller. <laughs> they gypped us fake real. So she brought me this and she literally like just opened it up. Underneath was the little package. When she went like that, I was like, no honey, no, I'm not gonna pay $20 for that. So this is what it looks like, honestly, pretty similar. That's the fake one. This is the real one. I had to play with this because I was so excited for it. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. The names are the same, but the colors are very different. So I'm just gonna do little swatches for you, okay? First of all, I just wanna show you guys how nice and buttery these are. So buttery, okay? So we're gonna go in with so good. Very pretty. Oh, yeah. And then over here, this one is not so good. 
This is what it looks like. Patchy. Artistry. Okay. They do not look the same at all. Look at how freaking dusty that is. Artistry. Playground is like a really beautiful, spicy turquoise color, and it's matte. Bam. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we have, which one's playground? Because it looks so different. Oh my God, this one has like little twinkles in it. Playground, still a pretty color, but it's not that playground. We're gonna do my typical bronzy boring eye, because why not? Should I go wild? Should I be James? All right, you guys, so this is the finished eye. I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel really fun and I am unleashing my inner artist. I did my typical eye right here and now I went in with this beautiful blue, blended it into a purple, then back to pink and then back to purple. I'm gonna try doing this in the other eye. We shall see how this works. Wow, this literally does not show up. Oh my God, you guys, this pink is not showing through. All right, guys, so this is the finished fake James Charles palette. I could not get the pinks to show up or the purple. Blue was all right, the orange was okay. This one that's called So Good was not so good, and this is what I got. Down below, poop, whoop, maybe, maybe? I think it's poop. For contour, we have the Too Faced Cocoa Powder. This retails for $44, and then we got the fake one, Cocoa Contour Powder, which retails for $10. This one is like a little bit more maroon. This is a little bit more brown. Let's see what it looks like. Funny enough, both of these come with a little guide, but they're different. This looks like a Yahoo Google picture right here. So this is the real one. Very nice, very pretty. This is the fake one. It did come with a brush, which actually looks very much identical. The thing with this one is it has like little dots inside of the powders. Kind of weird. Let's see how this one smells. Kind of just reminds me of like my grandma's old makeup. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go with dark cocoa. So we're gonna go in right here. Bronze up a little bit. Brush is not that fabulous. I feel like I would just gravitate towards my typical brush. It's not bad, but it's not like amazing. It smells really nice. I really like it. Now I'm gonna go in with the fake one. The brush actually feels very similar. This one's just like a lot thicker. I kind of like the smell of this in a weird way. Like it, it's nostalgic to me, like my grandma's makeup. Oh my God, I'm creasing like crazy. All right, so there we have that side. I personally don't think it's bad. I mean, this side is better, but it's not too bad. I'm good. So now for mascara, we're going in with their real, which this one is real. This one retails for $25 Doritos. The fake one retails for $10. The packaging, it's almost the same, except this one is just overly underexposed. I love this mascara. It's really good. It smells like normal mascara. I am gonna put on some lashes, so I'm not gonna go crazy with this. All right, and now for the fake one. Mm, it's pretty impressive though. It looks the same, it's just like darker. It's, oh, that brush does not fit in there. Oh, honey! Oh my goodness gracious, this does not smell. You guys see that? You guys see that? What is in this? You guys see how it's like stringy? What on earth is this? Oh my Lord, what is the smell? Perhaps paint or glue. This does not look normal. Like I'm literally creating shapes with this. Oh my God. It is so strong. I'm gonna get an infection. Do not try this at home. All right, that's all I'm gonna do because I'm actually terrified. For eyelashes, I ended up going with Huda's eyelashes in Scarlet. Oh my God, I love Huda Beauty. Oh my God. These are a number eight called Scarlet. These retail for 20 bucks. And then I got these for five bucks, but these are named Candy. I was looking it up online and you guys correct me if I'm wrong. There was nothing online called Candy. These are really ugly. Let me just show you. So these are the real ones. Like, look at this. This is a real one. So fluttery, so nice. This is the fake one. Little cockroach feet. This time around, I actually didn't go for any type of eye glue or anything like that. I just think that is really risky. I had a really bad experience last year when I filmed this video. By the way, if you guys are interested in watching Real vs. Fake Part 1, you guys can check it out. I'm gonna link it down below. All right, so these are the Huda lashes. So pretty, so fluttery and gorgeous. And then these are the fake ones. These are very interesting because as you can see, they, they have no shape. That should be interesting to apply on my eye. I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to do it. 
Okay, you guys, these literally have like no bend, no style, nothing. Oh wow, this is so bad. The sad part is like, I'm actually trying. Oh my God, wow, really? Okay, I know this looks ridiculous. Like literally. But it has no freaking shape. I literally can't put it on my eyes and it also has like this white thing that's stuck to it. And every time I try to tear on it and take it off, the whole eyelash just curls away. This is all I could do, honestly. It doesn't matter how hard I try, like the eyelash is just not meant for my eye. I'm sorry if it looks like I didn't try, but I swear I'm trying and that white thing is there in my eye. Okay, moving on to highlighter and blush. For the highlighter and blush, we're actually gonna be using a Champagne Split, Becca and Jaclyn Hill. This is the fake one. This one retailed for $12 and I only found this split that existed on Amazon or third party site. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just went in with Becca and champagne pop. Pretty much what I did because we couldn't find this anywhere. I've actually never tried this highlighter before. I'm obsessed with Becca Cosmetics highlighters. I love the color opal. I've never tried champagne pop. It is beautiful and I know everybody was like literally obsessed with this color. Pretty. Put a little bit right here. Yes, okay. Now I am seeing it. So I'm right up top. I'm liking it. I also like to put this right up here. Just for fun. I'm gonna put it right here and right here. Okay, that is very pretty. It's kind of hard to appreciate when you have this face looking like this, but can you guys just take a moment and appreciate me? Please send me a screenshot right now through my Instagram or my Twitter. I'm gonna reply and follow you. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with a little fan brush because why not? Oh, this smells like that dollar store makeup. There's a little bit of glow there, but it's also like hatchy and very light for me. There's that. I'm not even gonna put this blush on because I'm just afraid. Last but not least for the list, we're gonna be using Fenty. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. This is in Fenty Glow. Gloss Bomb, Gloss Bomb. This is what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just have to say, if you haven't tried this before, get it. I was never that big of a lip gloss fan, but this wand right here it sells me. It is so large. You can get like your entire lips in one swipe. So follow me on Instagram because I might do a makeup tutorial on this. Oh, it smells so good. So this one retailed for $18 and it's worth it. So you can literally just put it on top of your natural lip and they just look so pretty. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. For the fake one, this one retailed for $7. Honestly, the packaging is very, very similar. What I will say is the colors doesn't look the same at all. Curious to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh no, honey. No, 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 no. So as you can see, this is like a pink. It still looks pretty, but you could obviously see there's so much less product in this one. I hope this smells nice. Ew. Look at its surroundings, disgusting. And look at this wand. This is the real one. This is the fake one. This one doesn't smell bad, but it's it's not like amazing. Are you kidding me right now? You got to be kidding. It's a pretty color, I'm not gonna lie. It's super patchy though. You cannot work with this. Enough with that. Hm. All right, you guys, let me know down below which of these products was a whoop, a poop, or maybe baby, clearly gorgeous. Not so gorgeous. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're not a part of the family, subscribe down below. We're gonna do a lot of other beauty busters like these. Stay connected with me on my Instagram and my Twitter. They're both just Natalie's outlet. I love you guys so much. Oh. My lips are sticking together. Oh my God, there's glue in this. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go take this makeup off. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on Twitter and Instagram. Bye. Oh, don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye. This is not happening.